Welcome to our channel. Today we are going to understand the fluorescent leak test for filter bags. The application of leak detection powder or fluorescent powder works to help identify the source leaks in any filter bag. The first topic, why fluorescent leak test for bag house. The second topic, how to select the correct color of the fluorescent powder. The third topic, how to do the fluorescent leak test. The fourth topic, the fluorescent leak test conducted. Some pictures for better understanding. Next, we are going to understand why conducting fluorescent leak test for bag house. First point, bag house leak detection fluorescent powder is used in leak testing procedures during the change of new bags or regular dust collector maintenance, or troubleshooting potential emissions issues. Leak tests can be conducted as part of periodic preventive maintenance, or in the event that a noticeable drop, or change in the differential pressure of the system occurs. Next point, the application of leak detection powder works, to help identify the source leaks in any filter bag, but also to test for leaks after a new filter has been installed or after a filter change out. Leakage from loose or damaged filter elements as well as corrosion damage to the housing is usually very difficult to detect in dust collection systems and requires a great deal of time and manpower. It is virtually impossible to detect defective welds with visual checks alone. The fluorescent contrast powder is especially for this purpose leak detection tests for bag houses. Fluorescent contrast powder ensures a fast and precise location of dust leaks in dust collection systems. Next point, the fluorescent powder is introduced into the dirty side of the filter system. It then follows the path of least resistance collecting at the leaky points. After adding the fluorescent contrast powder, the portion which has leaked through can be illuminated with UV light, allowing dust leaks to be located precisely and quickly. Next, we are going to understand how to select the correct color of the fluorescent powder. Leak detection powder is available in a variety of colors to make it easier to use in many different types of environments. You must select the correct color powder for the sort of material that your bag house processes. Pink color, it can be used in all industries. Orange color, it can be used in all industries except those where iron oxide is present. Green color, it can be used in aluminium, cement, and utility industries. Yellow color, it can be used in all industries except cement, lime, asphalt, utility, and cogeneration plants where sulfur is present in the dust. Next, please see the high intensity ultraviolet torch or UV light, which is an important role in the leak detection test. Next, please see the fluorescent leak powder, pink color which is an important role in the leak detection test. Next, we going to understand, how to do the fluorescent leak test. First step, determine the amount of leak detection contrast powder needed by calculating the total filter bag cloth area to be treated. For every 100 square meters filtration surface, 0.5 to 1 kilogram of leak detection contrast powder is required. Next step, identify suitable injection ports or access doors on the inlet, dirty, side of the bag house. Next step, ensure the bag cleaning system is not operating during leak detection testing. Next step, Determine that the fan or system airflow can be shut down quickly once the leak detection powder is injected. Next step, confirm that the clean air side of the compartment can be isolated from excessive background light. 
This may require temporarily covering this area during the ultraviolet light inspection process. Next step, ensure availability of a PPE, personal protective equipment, filter mask, safety glasses, gloves, and portable ultraviolet light. Next step, it is not recommended that the same technician performs the fluorescent powder injection and visual leak checking due to possible contamination of boots and clothing with fluorescent powder during the injection process. Next step. Please ensure all the inlet and outlet plenum dampers must be in full open condition. Next step, fluorescent powder is introduced into the system from the dirty air plenum duct. Fresh air damper, hopper inspection doors in the system. Next step, once the fan reached 75% of its design volume rate, the fluorescent powder introduced into the system. After the injection of the fluorescent powder, as the powder flows through the system, the high differential pressure between the clean and dirty sides of the bags will encourage the powder to flow through any holes. Later on, a technician performs a visual inspection of the entire bag house with a fluorescent UV light which causes the leak powder to glow. Next, using a portable high-intensity UV light enables the technician to detect any leaks in the filter bags, seals, tube sheets, or other areas within the system, record failures based on the leak detection powder. Next we have to do the repair leaks and retest filter bags in the bag house using an alternate, fluorescent contrast powder color to ensure all leaks have been identified and corrected. Please see the photos for a better understanding. Fluorescent powder is introduced into the system from the dirty air plenum duct or fresh air damper or hopper inspection doors in the system. Once the fan reached 75% of its design volume rate, the fluorescent powder introduced into the system. Please refer to the snaps after the injection of the fluorescent powder. It is recommended to ensure the proper penetration of fluorescent powder throughout the filter bags. Please refer to the snaps after the injection of the fluorescent powder. As the powder flows through the system, the high differential pressure between the clean and dirty sides of the bags will encourage the powder to flow through any holes. During an inspection of the entire bag house with a fluorescent UV light which causes the leak powder to glow. Please refer to the snaps. Due to leakages in the installed filter bags some of the bag's top snap band area glow with the aid of UV light. After completion of inspection, please repair the identified or marked leakages filter bags. Please refer to the photos, filter bag snap band found damaged condition which is installation damages, filter bags installed roughly, special care to be taken during the filter bags installation. Leaks identified bags are rectified carefully. If you have other color fluorescent powder, second leak test to be conducted. The same procedure to be followed further test to ensure all leaks have been identified and corrected. Hope Understand about the purpose of the fluorescent leak test and selection of the fluorescent powder and how to do the fluorescent leak test. Thanks for watching. Subscribe the channel for more videos.